This college football season will have the greatest finish yet. 12. Mm. Seems like a lot of teams. But what so, about expanding to eight? Well, that is just playing dumb. The access we've created uh, through the 12 team format. It'd be foolish to say that, that you didn't want expansion. It's here, our first expanded 12 team college football playoff. We could have really used this last year, Florida State. I'm sure there is a lot wow. of anger in Tallahassee as a result of this. You know, it's been a very difficult month, you know, to be honest with you. After that Florida State snub, the committee could not have scripted a season any better to prove that we need a 12-team playoff. This playoff is going to be awesome, and in no way will it ruin the sport or diminish the regular season. Those games are not just a wild Saturday where they can celebrate with each other and say, hey, remember, we beat a great team on the road. No, no, it's more than that. It's a springboard to a potential postseason berth. I'll give you the answer of who's winning the playoff in a second, but first, here's how the bracket will look and why seeding is paramount. So it's going to be 12 teams made up of five conference champions, so it's going to be the four Power Four conference champions, and the fifth conference champion is going to be the highest-ranked non-Power Four conference champion. So that's five automatic bids, then we'll have seven at-larges that are going to be based on the College Football Playoff Committee's rankings. And in the bracket, seeds one through four will be the four power four conference champions. So you see, winning your conference championship is still priority number one. And then seeds five through 12 will play each other in the first round following a normal tournament bracket format to see who plays seeds one through four in the quarterfinal. Winners advance as usual. There's no reseeding. It'll be just like the Elite Eight in college basketball, which is totally awesome. SEC championship to him is just as valuable as the national title because they're both so difficult to get to. Now, something cool is in that first round, the higher seeds, seeds five through eight, they'll host home playoff games. So no neutral sites just yet. Scoring an eight seed has its advantage over settling for a 10 seed. You get to host a home playoff game. Now for my official predictions, I think the top four seeds are going to be one, Ohio State, the Big Ten champ, two, Georgia, the SEC champ, three, Utah, the Big 12 champ, and four, NC State, the ACC champion. Those four teams get first round buys. Now to fill out seeds five through 12, we'll have the at-larges. First, Liberty's going to be the 12 seed. I think they'll be the highest non-power four conference champion. I think they'll get slotted in as the 12. Now for seeds five through 11, five seed Texas, six seed Oregon, seven seed Florida State, Eight seed Alabama, nine seed Notre Dame, 10 seed Ole Miss, and 11 seed Kansas State. So who advances in the playoffs? Well, I rank them that way for a reason. I think the top seeds are gonna advance to the quarterfinals. Texas over NC State, Oregon over Utah, Georgia over Florida State, and Ohio State over Alabama. And I think Georgia and Ohio State are on a crash course. They're gonna advance through the final four and face off in a showdown for the national championship. But this is the Buckeyes year and they take home the national championship. It's happening. The Big Ten reigns supreme once again. That bracket will make for an electric final three to four weeks of bowl season, something we haven't had before. And with how important seeding is and conference champions, nobody's gonna be sandbagging down the stretch. Trust me, with rivalries like Alabama's not gonna be sandbagging in the Iron Bowl against Auburn the last week of the year, just because they think they have an eight at large seed locked up. Every team will be sprinting to the finish line and we're set up for the best finish in college football history. Ohio State is my pick to run through that playoff bracket. Who's your pick to win it all this year?